Hi guys and welcome to my channel and we are going to be watching Arrow season 1 episode 5 and this is called Damaged. Um, in the last episode it ended with Oliver being uh, arrested for being the vigilante and um, Laurel's father taking great pleasure in making that arrest. Um, but I suspect that he will be getting out Oliver somehow. I don't know how. Um, but I think he'll be getting out. And, um, also Dig came and took Oliver up on his offer to help Oliver take care of the bad guys. And, uh, he wants to make sure Oliver doesn't lose himself along the way. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and we're going to jump into this reaction. I've been anxious to get to this. So let's go ahead and get started. You will die badly. Get. Hello. This is a mistake. As far as I can tell, the only mistake I made was not shooting you down at the docks when I had a chance. I am not who you think I am. No, oh, you're exactly who I think you are. I know you hate my family, but I had no idea that you'd go so far to arrest my son without any grounds whatsoever. I have solid grounds, and I have evidence. Which you can present to Mr. Queen's attorney when he gets here. Fine. I want Laurel. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to go over well. Oliver, I don't think your ex-girlfriend can be counted on to be objective here. She knows me better than anyone. She knows that I could never be this guy. He wants you to represent him. Me, yes. I told him it was a bad idea. He says if you don't represent him, then he doesn't want any attorney. Mrs. Queen, my father is the arresting officer. Yes. And I don't think it's a good idea for me to represent someone who I've been involved with. Where's your attorney, Mr. Queen? I'm representing myself, Judge. I'm not sure that's the wisest course, Mr. Queen. I think it is. I'm innocent. I would point out that there is virtually no bail amount that could guarantee his presence at trial. So then I guess it's a good thing that the people's case is so circumstantial. <laughs> Can I have a Laurel Lance, Your Honor? I'd like to file my appearance on behalf of the defendant. He is a flight risk? Then minimize the risk. The defendant is willing to submit to home confinement and electronic monitoring through the wearing of a UKG 45 <laughs> administrative... Oliver's like, no, no, no. Sold. Your Honor. Bail is set at $15 million. No way that you're this vigilante. I agree. Because he's actually trying to make a difference. We both know that's not really your style. <laughs> yes, I'm having a sizable get together here tomorrow evening and there is a better than likely chance it spills into the outdoor pool. Pool deck's fine. Step on the grass, they're sending a SWAT team to forcibly subdue you. Thank you, officer. Apparently, you're only defending the man that killed your sister. Oliver did not kill Sarah. If it wasn't for him, she wouldn't have been on that boat. Have you considered the possibility that that's the reason you're trying to make him out to be this, this menace? No, it is the videotape. It is the suspicious timing. That is the reason. You hate the hood, and you hate Oliver, and you want more than anything for them to be the same person. But Oliver isn't the reason why Sarah died. Or the reason Mom left. I don't want to listen to this. Oliver. They got you on video. I knew the security camera was there, just like I knew the police would review the footage and arrest me. All part of the plan. So you wanted to what? get arrested? Well, I returned to Starling City, and a few days later, the vigilante appears. Sooner or later, somebody was going to make the connection. I imagine what would happen if a street gang got their hands on military-grade hardware. I imagine our city's streets turned into a war zone. But you're under house arrest, Oliver, which means That's you can't... That's why he's the party. Look, Maybe. For now... I would just like you to shadow me. Okay, so he tracks it and finds out where this is being sold. How's he gonna do anything about it with that ankle bracelet? Why do people do that? <laughs> Touch sharp objects and be like, ow, that hurt. You'd be all shocked about it. I want you to transfer those remains to a secure location. Can I count on you? What's going on, sir? That's very much what I'm trying to determine. I'll take a polygraph. Polygraphs are inadmissible. In front of a jury. I'll take a polygraph in front of him. He's the one I need to convince. I'm sure he'll pass the polygraph. Yeah. With the polygraph, all you gotta do is just stay calm, keep your heart rate steady. 
not saying that that's easy to do. I'm just saying. I'm sure he's figured out how to do that while he's on this island. Please. This gentleman. Do you know him? No. No. I don't know why you're protecting him. You're young, foolish. Perhaps you don't know why either. He saved his life. Think on that when you're begging for death. I know what you're thinking. Do you? My son is not the man targeting the list. The charges are preposterous. Not according yeah, to the yes. district attorney, assistant district attorney, the investigating detective, and the police department that filed charges against that him. That detective has a vendetta against my family. You're the man in this picture. Where can I find the man in this picture? No. The physician that examined you reported that 20% now of Now that explains the stars. No. I wasn't alone. I didn't want to talk about what happened to me on the island. Why not? Because the people that were there tortured me. Have you killed anyone? Yes. Yes. You have to study the data, but just eyeballing it, he's telling the truth. Hmm. I assume that you'll be recommending Miss Spencer to drop all charges against my client. No. I know a guilty man when I see one. No, the man in the hood. He's gonna stop them. Oliver, he... you can't leave the house. You're gonna make Doesn't him wear have it? It's to be me in the hood. That's why you threw this ridiculous party. So you have a hundred witnesses placing you here at the house where I'm supposed to be across town dressed as a vigilante? I just don't like being played. Now, you might have gotten used to lying to everyone else in your life, but I'm the one guy you don't lie to. You're right. The company's head of security, Josiah Hudson, was in a car accident tonight. He's dead, sir. What? Why did they have him killed? Because he was going to move the boat? How'd they know? Because Office I must be bugged. I need to know. I need to see. Are you sure? I was wondering if he was going to show her the scars. Times when I wanted to die, there was something I wanted more. No, no kissy. Oh no. <sighs> Who's this guy? Just as skilled as this guy. Do they know each other? Uh, I hope Dig doesn't get hurt doing this. That was easy. I would expect something bigger to happen, but okay. <laughs> Are you going to confront her finally? Well, what was it that was so important that I had to race down here? I found the Queen's Gambit, Maura. Mm hmm. I know you secretly had the boat salvaged. The person with whom you share your home, your bed, and your heart has been lying to you so convincingly and I would be a fool not to consider all the things that you have told me were lies. You are very far out of your depth. What Mr. the Wayne, hell? If you're entertaining guests upstairs, should I have some drinks sent up? No, it's just me up here and I'm on my way back down. What? 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 Who's Good that? Job. Now get back here. from my lieutenant. An arms dealer was attacked across town tonight by the vigilante. Multiple witnesses put him there. Charges against your son are being dropped. You tried to have my son killed. Oh, he did it. I'm sure you understand. I was justified in suspecting your son of being the vigilante targeting our associates. 
I've done everything you asked. But if any member of my family so much as gets a paper cut, I will burn your entire world to ashes. After last night, clearly we're still attracted to one another. Nothing can ever happen between us. I know. Where are you going? Mila still has to sell those guns and I have to stop her. Oliver? He had his chance. Leo Mueller, you have failed this city. Okay, guys, so that is the end of episode five of season one of Arrow. And yeah, I mean, I knew Oliver was going to get out of it. Um, I was throwing out predictions all over the place and that none of them were true. Uh, except for the fact that Oliver figured a way out. Um, I did not know that he was intending on getting arrested. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, though. I, I get why he had set it up. Because it was coincidental, you know, that he comes back and all of a sudden here is a vigilante. Um, so it made sense. And uh, I think Laurel's dad <sighs> needs to talk to somebody. Get all this anger out that he is holding for Oliver. And... I mean, I understand why he's upset at Oliver and everything, but it's not Oliver's fault. I mean, he didn't make the boat sink. It's not like he knew it was going to happen. I mean, if he knew it was going to happen, he wouldn't have been on there. I mean, as of right now, the only person that I would blame would be Oliver's mother because she knew the boat was rigged. Whether she rigged it or not, I don't know. But she knew about it. Um, I mean, of course, you know, they don't know this, but... We know this. But the thing with uh, Oliver and Laurel, the whole intimate kiss, I, I was like, no, no kissy. <laughs> because I didn't think they needed to do that. It was like not necessary. I don't think they need to be a thing. I said this in, a, in another video. I don't think that this is something that needs to happen. I don't think they need to get back together. Um. But for a minute there, I, I thought she was going to, like, he was going to admit the truth to her. But he did not. He found a way out of it. That the whole thing with Dig going and stopping the uh, trade or the selling of the guns or whatever <laughs> and wearing the the hood and everything. I thought there would be, like, more fight, but he took him out pretty easily, you know. He was pretty good, but... I was expecting, like, more of a fight, and there wasn't one. It was just, like, really fast. But it got the job done. Got Oliver off the hook. They no longer think he's the vigilante. We finally figured out how Oliver got the scars. Because I always wondered how he ended up with all those scars. And now we know he was tortured. So, but all in all, I enjoyed the episode. It was... I. Didn't enjoy it as much as some of the previous episodes, but I still um, enjoyed it. I don't know. I don't know. It almost felt kind of slow to me. I don't know why it felt that way. It just did. But I still enjoyed it. Got more information. The um, the thing about the boat came out. Uh, Walter confronted uh, Moira about it. And uh, she, I wish she would just tell him what's going on. I think the reason she's not, not only she doesn't want to implicate herself in the boat going down and everything, but I think she does want to try and protect him from that other guy. I still don't know who that guy is. Uh, is this somebody that we've met before? Because I know we saw him in the previous episode, right? I think it was the first time we saw him, right? We didn't see him before then, I don't think. Uh, I don't know. But apparently he's going to be a major player and uh, somebody that Oliver is going to have to deal with at some point. I don't know if it'll be 
this season or several seasons from now. I have no idea. But uh, hopefully Oliver can deal with him at some, at some point. He's a very dangerous man. Killed, a, killed an innocent man just because he was doing what he was told by moving a boat. So, but anyway. Um, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, the link will be down below. And if you guys want to get early access to my reactions or watch the full reactions, uh, they are up for unlimited time. Uh, you can go over to my Patreon and support me over there if you would like. And the link for that is down below as well. Um, I enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you guys have any suggestions on anything you would like me to react to, please leave those down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.